Who's gonna be coming to the portal here? Who do we have? I like them, I use them, and I can't wait to use them soon. The Pelagio's boss is coming soon, so that's why I wanna put this boy to work. Thank you for the chance. Oh, how about that for a video? I can't get away from this champion. Y'all gotta be kidding me. This is that kind of video today. <laughs> What is going on? It is go time. This is Mortal Mike, and this is yet another Watcher of Realms video. Today is a summoning video. I was hesitant on making this video today. I did a Guilty Guild, Guild match recently, and I got smoked. I mean, smoked. I got a complete zero out of eight wins. It was a really good guild that we went up against. I may still put that video out and show you guys because I still want you guys to get pointers on what I would have done differently and how you can circumvent battles like this and how you can still get easy wins, which I did not go for and it shows in it. The reason why I brought that up is because in that video, I mentioned that I didn't want to do pulls this weekend because I knew what banners were coming. But here's the thing. I know that Yovar is going to be coming to the game soon. I think it's Eovar, Lovar. Um, I know he's coming to the game soon, but I don't know when. And I'm more than likely willing to bet he's going to be on Ancient Summons. So that being said, I'm not gonna to touch ancient summons today. I'm just going to touch the rare summons, the blue ones or the gold ones if I have a few of those. I don't think I have any gold ones. I just wanna pull one gold for the weekend. That's all I ask, just one. The interesting thing as well is I'm fairly close to pity. So there's a good chance I may actually trigger it. I'll show you what I have going on right now. So you see those 15, I'm holding on to them. I would like to get Sargak, don't get me wrong, Sargak is a beast. I actually just built him on the test server to start experimenting with him against the Pelagios boss, and he's showing promise. He's a freaking beast, he's nice. So here's what we have today. Close to 60, close to 60. That should be more than enough for me to reach pity, and that from there we can get us some shimmery gold in here, but we'll see what we get going. That being said as well, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for rocking with me. It's been a minute since I've done an upload, so I had to do one. I had to do one this weekend. I'm gonna put this up on Monday. <laughs> Uh, because it's like eight something on Sunday. And I was like, man, I want to do summons. I want to do them so badly, but I didn't want to just burn the options of what's coming up. I know there's also um, this banner that's Sargak and Aracha. Um, there's another one that's going to have, I think it's Serpentina and uh, Cetrum. I'm not too interested in doing that banner. It's not a knock on it. I think that she's a good champion, but I already have options that do that job very well. And I already have a Setrum, so I'm not really looking for a bunch of Setrum options. I have Setrum A1. If the Ovar banner comes up, and it's, I doubt it's gonna be rares, it's gonna be ancient, so I'm gonna save that. And it might even be just for Forerunners. Who knows, we don't know. The Ovar and Carnelian, I want both of them, so I'm not touching my ancients today. I wanna go after these crazies right here. Let's see what we get, let's work. Oh, we also have our bonuses, which makes it close to 60. All right, it's summertime, let's go. Let turn my volume up, I wanna hear these. Let's see who we get going. First 10 pull, we have an Epic. I would like to get Jorge as well. I got Esma in a recent pull section. Oh, I didn't mention this before. Um, before this, before this summon event was a one plus one event. I'm gonna tell y'all, I went full degenerate mode and got nothing. I got zero zilch, it was dirty. I didn't even upload it because it just would have been a waste to just sit there and just see me go full degenerate mode trying to get it. I did it for um, Artemis and it worked out, but I was like, man, that was a depressing joy ride. It was like, mm, mm. But I do feel it's good to still tell you guys that I went for the one plus one and I didn't get it. So I don't want to just say, hey, yeah, all, all summer videos on here are perfect. Hey, some are tough. Oh, Temple. <laughs> this one might not be. <laughs> Who's going to be coming to the portal here? Who do we have? I want to go. That's pretty fast timing. I will say, got it, got it. I had them, I like them, I use them, and I can't wait to use them soon. And you know why I say soon? Because the Pelagio's boss is coming soon. So that's why I wanna put this boy to work. I wonder, it's a 2X event, so I might actually pull even more of them. I will say this, I enjoy using Kai. From time to time I've used him in Gear Raid 321. Also, you would use them in Guild Boss. Because in Guild Boss, um, he has a chance to proc his ultimate twice. He has that already, but it can get up to a 35% chance of reprocking his ultimate, which is awesome. The biggest drawback for Kai is his cost, and plus, I think he was on the banner with Vierna or somebody else that everybody wanted to get. 
And because of that, people, he got a lot of shade for Kai. Kai got a lot of shade. I use him in Void Rift. I use him very, very often. And also, I'm probably going to be using him against the Pelagios boss because his, his regular attack attacks five targets. He puts down these traps. I don't know if these traps are going to work at all out there because it's going to be over water. But um, along with that, those stop ground and air targets. But his ult is like a double AOE attack. It has the big explosion and it has smaller explosions and they hit a big radius, they hit a big area. And then he has a 35% chance to do it twice. So I will say he has been a very good champion. The problem is he's usually one of the champions I use much later in the content because of his higher cost. He's a tank of a champion. Oh, snap. <laughs> How about that for a video? <laughs> Yo, I can't get away from this champion. I cannot get away from him. How many videos have I done where this champion pops out the portal ready to be used? What does this make, an A3 or A4? A3 or A4 rise up. This is good because this is also, he was recently on the banner with Zilla 2 and Hex, and I pulled him during that summon session. Um, but, and I pulled him also when I was talking about bring back Rev, and then after that I did a summon, and then Rawzak came out again. Came out again, so I can't get away from this fish. Another high cost champion, but he's wonderful in gear rate three. A couple other different areas as well, but um, he's also a threat in arena. You've probably seen him if you see him um, bring those tentacles up like a second after he's been summoned onto the stage. You know he's about to finish that wave. Really good champion, plus the skill bonus. If you guys were lucky enough to get Captain Rev, that skill bonus, not skill bonus, bond skill of getting like 12% gold and EXP and everything they do together. Pro tip, I will say that if you haven't done this yet, all of your EXP and all of your gold raids put Captain Rev and Razak in those battles. Also, I do it for, um, also squeeze them both into the promotional press of the insignias. I do it for those. I put it in both of those too, because those little small amounts seem insignificant, but they add up over time in the background. Not bad. A double sump, double Lego. I'm a fan of that. That's pretty daggone cool. So now that's got me motivated. Now I want to do more. <laughs> Y'all know how this goes. You get that feel and you want to get some more in. So let's do 10 more. Gotta be kidding me. This is that kind of video today. <laughs> it was like they were waiting for me. It was like they were waiting for me to come back and do it again. Who else do we get? You! <laughs> what? Serious? Come, what? What? Y'all saw I didn't touch the ancient banner. Y'all saw it. Come on. Come on, I cannot, I can't make that happen. I just ran to it and it happened. Aracha, A1, welcome to the team. Welcome to the roster. That's freaking nuts, so. So this is gonna be a short video, but I will say this is a pretty daggum cool video. I'm happy. Are you sure I'm about happy. that? If that last one was gold, I would have been nuts right now. I would have been nuts. I don't know if I'm pushing my luck. I'm still gonna go. I, I think that that's a heck of a good start. I and mean, then I finish like that. I don't care. Let's keep it going. Next one's gonna be a rare tax. That's fine. And also I'm doing these because I need to get gems. I burned through a bunch of my gems recently for um, leveling up my heroes, for doing EXP raids, so on and so forth. Um, these are also gonna be some rares, which is fine. I don't wanna touch any gems. I just wanna do regular summons, just regular summons. And then start saving up my summons after this. Awesome, Aveline's here, nice, nice. I got five more summons. Dang, with that kind of luck, Ancients might be nice too, but I will wait because I'd rather get the ones I want. Behold, Plus, I got one of them. Of <laughs> That's nuts though, right? That's nuts. In two temples, well, I technically that's three temples, but light. within two of those temples, three Legos, one of them being a Lego Lord. Very nice. Very happy with results like that. What are you looking at? Oh. Never seen a she, before. She's seen better days. No! Sweet Liberty! No! She did not have a good experience during um, Captain Rev's event. She did not. 
Those who played it know that I'm sure most of y'all have played it. There's an epic. I would like to get another Esme. Well, not Esme. I'd like to get another um, Jorge. I'd like to get a Jorge. A George. Hollow. One of the most sought out fate. epics in the game. One of the best epics in the game. One of the most reliable epics in the game. If you need Rage Regen, she is your gal to get. I don't have Elowen yet, so if I do get Elowen, I'm going to end up using Elowen a little more often in different areas. But I love how I built Hollow the A5. She gets raged like none other. She's a beast. Bridges I burn shall so Lil, the she's been seeing some um, a Soleil, Solil. She's been seeing some attention in Gear Dungeon 4. Uh, putting her in the very top left corner, she can do a lot of damage at high um, awake. The I think awake at five. Oh yeah, she talks the, the entire time. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that on the screen. Um, she's been useful in killing those mobs before they even spawn out because her attacks bounce against multiple targets. I think it's doing her ultimate. So she does a lot more damage than other content in the game. Really useful. All right, and I think that's yeah, that's, that's everything. And a couple bonus gems, guys and gals. That made for a very easy, very easy video in my in my books. Goodness. Now I'm going to wrap up Corridor Glory. I got a few more levels up to do, but um, I won't bore y'all with that. I'm happy. How's that for a video? I haven't put out a video in what nine or ten days, and I come back with a nice summer for the weekend. So um, I'm gonna say how I always say it. This has been your boy Mortar Mike. I can't thank y'all enough for supporting and watching the content. Some of y'all have been sending me messages on Discord. Shout out to y'all that's found me on Discord and have been sending me as friend requests and sending messages. I've seen three people say they really love what they've been seeing in the book, um, The Divine Invasion. Um, I think that is freaking dope. Shout out to y'all. I appreciate y'all. Um, those of y'all that have been checking out the book by my dude Aaron Renfro, all of his content is very inexpensive and it's very dope. And my dude is working like a madman to put out quality stuff. So, especially the audio books. You, you've probably heard them before. If not, I'm gonna put a link up here um, of the video. And uh, I'll put like a little note that you can see the timing of what to click in the video to actually watch the trail I made for it. I won't throw it in this video here. I know you guys like that, but I'll just send a link so you guys can go see that if you want to. I don't think that's fair to just throw another ad in there in the middle of this. And you've already seen it before. I got more coming though, more sponsorships, but you guys have been dope. I can't thank you guys enough. Let me know what you guys pulled on the 2X weekend. 2X is a good time for you to do summons. I still got to get Valkyra. I still got to get Arrogance. I still got to get Salazar, some of those core heroes. I want to get Torador. Some of those core heroes I want to add to the account. And I haven't gotten them yet, but I'm looking forward to getting them soon. This has been your boy, Mortal Mike. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have an amazing time. See y'all soon. Take care. Whew. What a day. What a day.